Hello and welcome. With the previous 2022.4 Typhoon Hill Control Center software release, a new specialized dual active bridge converter component with a 50 nanosecond simulation time step became available. This converter utilizes a dedicated DEV PGA block designed for fast calculations of the DAB converter. We've covered this component in detail in a 2022.4 release spotlight video explaining this component. You can find the link to this in the description. From the 2023.1 Typhoon Hill Control Center software release, this dedicated DEV PGA block supports new converter topologies. From now on, resonant converter topologies, LLC and CLLLC, can be simulated with a 50 nanosecond simulation time step. These topologies are widely used in high-frequency power converter applications and are specially designed to fulfill the needs of high-frequency DC-DC charger applications. Since the minimum simulation time step for currently available Hill devices is 200 nanosecond, this specialized resonant converter solver operates independently from the rest of the circuit, providing simulation results at the simulation time step specified in the model settings dialog box. This component acts as a current source inside the circuit. State calculation of the resonant converter component occurs every 15 nanosecond. These state values are then averaged over the course of each simulation time step and reported on the component's outputs in order to remain consistent with the rest of the real-time model. From the component outputs, you can observe only these average values. This converter solver is available on 4th generation Hill 404 and Hill 606 devices with a 50 nanosecond time step using a specially provided firmware configuration. In addition, from the 2023.1 software release, both the resonant converter solver and the specialized dual active bridge converter solver are available on Hill 604 devices with a time step of 100 nanosecond. Let's see where to find the resonant converter component and how to parametrize it. Inside the Converter's Library category in Schematic Editor, we can find the Enhanced Resolution subfolder. Clicking on this subfolder reveals the new resonant converter component. Let's drag and drop it into the model. In the Component dialog box, you can find the Control, Electrical, and Extras properties. Gate drive signals for switches within the resonant converter can be provided to the Hill device, digital inputs, or generated by the FPGA internal PWM modulator. In the Electrical Properties tab, you can set the parameters for your desired topology as well as which resonant tank you want to use, LLC or CLLLC. In the Extras tab, you can define short circuit resistance for both sides of the converter and limit signal access. You can find more details on each of these points in the component documentation link in the description. Now, let's see how the component works in practice. The circuit contains a resonant converter power supplied by a constant voltage source of 100 volts. The resonant converter has an LLC resonant tank with an H-bridge switches topology on the A side and a full bridge rectifier on the B side. Switches on the A side are controlled via gate drive signals generated by an internal PWM modulator with variable carrier frequency. The duty cycle is 50 percentage, and the switching frequency can be defined in SCADA during runtime. The rectifier is connected in parallel with the capacitor which provides constant DC voltage for the resistive load. Now, let's compile the model and load it to a Hill 404 device. Setting the FSW skater input to 1 makes the switching frequency at simulation start 100 kHz, which corresponds to the resonant frequency for this LLC tank. Let's start the simulation and open capture scope widget for a 100 kHz switching frequency. The series inductance current in the second graph and secondary winding current in the third graph are sinusoidal due to the resonance effect. As we can see, the load current in the fourth graph is well rectified to the DC waveform. Now, let's set the FSW parameter to 0.7. This drops the switching frequency below the resonant frequency down to 70 kHz. By looking at the capture widget, we can now see a characteristic response of the resonant converter to frequencies lower than resonance. We hope that this new resonant converter component will help you develop your high-frequency control applications. We look forward to your feedback. Thank you for watching.
Check the video description for more resources on this topic, including how to download and get started with Typhoon Hill Control Center for free. You can also visit hill.academy to access free courses, expand your hill testing skill set, and get certified. Subscribe to our channel to get notified about new content.